Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of House Slipper 2. I'm your host, Renovate. And thank you, everybody, that are console players that just recently got this game on either Xbox or PlayStation that have joined the channel. So I really appreciate that. I know I played it on PC. Um, I do have some houses that are on Mod IO that people have been downloading and they've been sending me messages saying they can't play it. It crashes. It crashes on mine too. So it has nothing to do with your PlayStation or has nothing to do with my PC that I found. It's actually the game itself. So I hopefully, hopefully, I hope they come to a way of fixing that issue. Um, but we'll, we'll see. But we'll see. I'll try to keep them simple <laughs> if that works. So, as you know, let's go to options real quick. Um, let's go back out of this. Let's go to settings and sound. And let's turn the music down just a bit because I feel like I'm talking over everybody. Um, as you know, we've been doing a challenge against Link the Killer. Uh, I chose to do a yellow house. The challenge was to pick a primary color. And so I picked yellow. Um, I haven't even touch that one because I haven't seen his first video yet so I'm waiting and also I've asked people in discord to submit pictures um, I've even asked uh, you guys if you would want to just submit some pictures if you want to go to discord it's free it's in the description below uh, the link is and then if you don't want to get on discord and you still want to participate and get credit for your pictures um, throw them in my email it's renovategamer at gmail.com so uh, what we're going to do, since I'm kind of bored and I want to play, is uh, I took a poll. Um, it's been about a month ago, I think. Actually, yeah, about a month and a half ago. I took a poll and asked people to pick which house they'd like to see me do that I've personally designed that I want to replicate in the game. Now, the Grapevine house here, this is on Mod.io if you want to try to go grab it. It, it hasn't worked for some people and it has worked for a lot a lot of people um, it's got I think over 250 downloads already so it's doing pretty well uh, so some people can do it some people can't I don't understand what it is uh, this is the one that won the challenge the poll and we went ahead and um, uh, finished this one so I'm gonna do another one this is the Greek house challenge if you guys haven't seen that one this is on mod io too this came from Vans Kiwi from uh, from our Discord. He challenged me to do a Greek house. Now, originally this one didn't work, and then I got it to work. Uh, so that one's there. And then I didn't never I never downloaded this one. This is a house that I did as well, and uh, people have seemed to like this one. But I didn't like the way that the train turned out on this one, so I didn't download this one or up. I guess I should say upload it. But we're going to do another one. All right. So we're going to create a new property. We are going to put this in the woods. So let's go to the woods. Um, yeah, the woods. <laughs> let's see, I could put it in the. I could put it in town. I just don't know how well that would look in the town. Although you know what, it might. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in the woods. I think we'll do that. So we'll put it in the woods. We're gonna pick a large property because I think we're gonna need it. Uh, this one's gonna be known as. Um, I mean, I don't know what to call this house. Um, We'll just call this uh, modern. Let's we'll call this modern woods house. All right, and then we're gonna create this. So I'm gonna put on the screen right now a picture of what this house is going to look like when we're done. So this is a house that I designed uh, about a year ago, uh, literally about a year ago, and uh, the house never did um, get built. So uh, a lot of things happened with the homeowner and, and the way that the house uh, came out price wise, it was a cost plus job. But, um, uh, you know, we all parted ways nicely and um, I still own the rights to the, to the print and it's my house. So we're going to see if we can reproduce it here. I think we can because it's, it's as, as uh, detailed as it look, it's not really that detailed of a house if that makes sense it's a very it was very easy to design it doesn't look like it is but that's more of a aesthetic thing on the house that makes it look like that so and also a nice thing is it's a slab house so i don't have to worry about um i don't have to worry about the grade or anything so what we're going to do first of all is we are going to probably try to lay out where the garage is. Um, and I have the floor plan over here on my other screen. And what I need to do is I need to zoom up on it. So I'm going to click over here 
on my other screen and zoom up. So you know, you know the, you know the uh, rules, how we do this. I am going to reproduce it based off of my floor plan and then we will go from there. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this started. I need to get this and we're going to lay this out on the ground and then we'll actually draw the house. So I wanna make sure that I keep the right distance this time. I think we're gonna put the whole driveway and the whole works on this. This house should sit perfectly in this property. I'm not kidding. So I think let's lay it out first. Um, actually, let's, let's do this first. So I know that the house is, if I look on my plan, I know the house is uh, 96 feet from start to finish, right? So if I go from the center, is this the center? I'm hoping it is. It looks like it would be. If I go like this and I draw a line down the middle, all right, let's draw a line down the middle. All right, if I do that and I go, uh, so it's 96 feet. So we need to go basically 48 this way. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fine. Yeah, this will be fine. And then basically 48 this way, but it's going to be right about that. So it might be a little bit off centered and that's 58. Okay. This house isn't very big, is it? I thought this house was a lot bigger than that. We could have put this on the, we could have put this in the, uh, yeah, we could have, <laughs> we could have put this in the, in the uh, city one. So but that's good. Cause I got a plenty of room for my driveway. Okay. So we're going to start right there. So that's how I lay out my house. And then we'll go ahead and get rid of the center line here all the way to here. Cause we know where it's at. All right, cool. So if that's the case, I think, because the house isn't that deep, really. So I think I'm going to start here and work our way back, and this will be our front yard, okay? So if I look uh, at my dimensions, let me, uh, I, just, I just need to blow this up a lot bigger on my other screen. I have OBS open because I wanted to make sure that I was actually recording my voice this time. Because it's, uh, I've had a couple times where it hasn't recorded my voice. <laughs> and that's a pain in the butt. All right, so we're going to... Uh, this garage is 28 feet out out all right so we need to go 28 feet so there's 25 there's 28 feet out out we don't want to do out out dimensions we want to do interior dimensions only because this game has eight inch blocks all right so the inside dimension so if we were to go like this and put a line down this way it's just going to be the garage if we were to come inside the interior dimension is 24 feet basically 24 foot one so we're going to do see whatever we come close to so 24 feet, all right? So that's gonna be our garage slab, all right? So we're gonna go like this, and then I'm gonna grab this to here and then go up just a little bit, all right? And then we're gonna delete this right here, for right now, and that, all right? And then we're going to just, I'm not gonna make the walls full right now. We're just going to uh, go with it. So that was inside to inside. So we'll go like this. This is going to be our outside wall here. So we'll just come up like that, all right? So there's our garage so far. All right, on the front of this garage, this, uh, actually, we could probably go ahead and do this. So let's go to this end. Actually, let's do the inside of the garage. The inside of the garage is forever long. So let's look at, I don't even know if I have a dimension on the inside of the garage. It looks like I don't. Um, tag on, man. What kind of architect am I? Uh, let's put this, the garage is really long. So we got 25 feet plus 15. So that's 40 and then we got 70 to the or seven to the outside. So f basically 47 feet. The only problem we're going to have with this, <clears throat> like we did with uh, some of the other houses is this, this game doesn't have double wide garage doors uh, at all. So, and this one has a gigantic 18 foot wide garage door. So this might be one of those where we have to make our own garage door like we did with the last one. So yeah, we'll have to deal with that. So this is 47 feet is how big that garage was. So let's go down here to 47.4. 47 eight is going to be fine. So that'll be fine right there. Uh, let's go. Can we go? Uh, let's see. We should probably shouldn't have did that. Um, yeah, let's see here. I can't go down. Let's just do it this way. 47 feet inside to inside. So we'll go 47 eight. That's good. And we'll just go like that. All right. So that's going to be... Uh, the inside dimension of our garage right there. So I know my, my garage is that big. And if you're wanting to know why the garage is that freaking big, uh, we added storage to the back of the garage. That's really the reason why we did this. Uh, so let's go ahead and bring that wall up and let's bring this wall through and up. All right, that's good. And then uh, the house has a 10 foot ceilings, I believe if I remember correctly. Yeah, they're 10 foot ceilings. So let's go ahead and bring this up uh, to how high is this one? Four foot? All right. So let's just make this six foot. All right. So there's six foot right there. So that's how tall our walls are going to be. 
So we're gonna do it like this. And we should be good that way. And then this comes across. It's gonna be our garage. Um, and I do it this way so that you guys can actually, if you're wanting to build it with me, you guys can actually do it too. Or just play around with it. Kind of gives you an idea how things kind of line up. Uh, so that's going to be our garage, okay? And then we have a wall, basically, that sticks out like this on the side. And we'll, we'll go like this, and then it sticks out kind of like that. And then this comes across like this, all right? And then this wall comes up approximately six feet. That's about right. And then it comes out like this, and then this is going to come out like this. We'll cover the end. And then we'll just fill this in like this. All right, so there's that part. So we're already gotten that much done. Cool. All right, so around the corner, uh, we're just gonna we'll work around the back side and then come around the other side. So this should be good. All right, so let's go from uh, basically. I'm looking at how we did this. This actually had an elevator room built into the garage, and it's set like right here. So let's go like this, and it was five feet eight. So let's just do five foot four. We're gonna put a wall here and a wall here. All right, and then this actually went through the house or it went into the house part. So we'll take this wall out and then we'll come, let's see, let's go, was it five foot three? Yeah, so, oops, I keep pressing the escape button, I swear to God. So let's go like this, all right, and then we'll go like this all the way up and the reason that we had an elevator here is because they were worried about in the future if they had a family member uh that needed a wheelchair access that they could get to the second floor so that's why we kind of did this all right so if we came from here let's just go ahead and grab this and just bring a big old slab across here because this is going to be the house basically right now uh if we came from this wall here and we came over, uh, let's see, 11 foot from this back wall. So we're gonna bring this wall over here, eight foot seven, so there's eight foot eight, that's good. And then we're gonna grab this wall and bring it down like that. And then if we brought uh, a wall down that's 11 foot, so there's 10, there's 11, four. We'll do, we'll do 11 or 10 foot eight, that's fine. This should work out. So that's actually the pantry. All right. And then we're going to continue this wall a little bit. We'll continue this wall down. Uh, let's see here. We'll go, uh, let's see, five foot eight. There's six foot. We'll just go like that. And then this wall is seven foot wide. So there's seven foot four. We'll go six foot eight. And then we'll bring a wall across like that. All right. That is a closet. This wall continues. So we got this wall here and this from here. This wall to the front of the mudroom, nine foot two inches. So if we go like this, so we're at nine foot four. That's perfect, man. All right, so we'll bring this across. This is gonna come out a little bit more. Let's do that again. Nine foot four, we'll put a wall here. This is gonna come all the way across. So that's the entryway as we come in from the garage, except there is a little bit of a there's a little bit of a hallway here that I need to figure out where we did this at. So this is 13 foot too long. There's 13 foot four to there. Uh, let's go ahead and put it here, right? And then that wall is going to be like this. We'll have to figure this out as we go along. And then let's go back here to the back. Let me move my, my screen a little bit. All right, there we go. All right, let's go back, resume game. All right, so from the back edge of the this right here so if we went down like this and then we came out and we came out 12 foot so there's 12 foot right there so let's go 12 foot 8 and then we're going to come across 12 foot 6 so there's 12 foot 8 that's fine all right and then we'll fill this bottom part in this is going to be the floor all right so this is like a little uh it's a sunroom basically but we we did some cool stuff with this which is kind of nice um and then we came in uh from here we came in six foot so let's go like this six foot up and then we came back basically two foot like that and then we came across like this all right cool and from this wall here let's go ahead and bring this and then make that floor and then from there from this wall here we actually went out uh 10 feet so if we went out 10 feet which would be right there so that's six feet so we just need to come out four feet here four foot eight and then we'll come across. So the inside dimension of this room is 13.9. So let's see if we can get 14 feet fine. There we go. So we'll go like this. And that will fill in our floor. That. And then what was the inside? 13.4. Let's go ahead and make it 14 feet. 
boom. All right, so that's the eating area. And then also off of this wall, if we were to come over to about here, so let's make a line through here so I can see where that's at right there. We're gonna go like this and take that like that, all right? And then we'll, we'll leave that like that. All right, so from there, we have, uh, let's see, I need a wall basically. Let's get rid of this one here and, whoops, not that one this one here and pretty much from this wall here we need to go uh 22 foot six so 22 foot six there's 22 foot eight so let's say here and that should line up with that closet wall it nearly does okay so we're we're on the right track here so this comes back to here here this comes up and then this comes across and comes up yep that's exactly what it looks like all right so except this wall is only seven foot long so let's go seven foot so actually let's get um let's get this so this wall where's the seven foot mark right there all right so we need to go and delete that amount all right cool all right so and this wall here is freaking long so the distance from the back of the kitchen to the back of the great room is 41 foot 8. 41 foot, foot 2. Let's just do 42 inside to inside. All right. And then can we just go down with it? Say no. All right. That's fine. We'll do it ourselves. All right. So we'll put a wall here. Actually, we'll put the floor here like that. And then we'll put a wall here. Uh, we'll do it 10 feet like that all right and we'll bring this wall across and then up all right so that's that and the distance from the back wall to the hallway wall is um, actually we should do it here is uh, 27 4 so let's go 27 4 excellent right on the dot is right there so i want to basically bring that one across here we go uh we're gonna keep it doesn't matter if that wall's taller than this one this is a two-story wall anyway so we'll just fill this part in here and then we can get rid of here all the way down. Cool. There's that. Okay. Let's work our way around. So the next room is the master bedroom, which sits right off of this wall. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. And then we're going to work our way across. So the room is 16 foot four inside. So there's 16, 16, eight. Uh, that's fine. So we'll do 16, eight like that. And so we'll bring this across and up and then it's 15 6 on the inside so let's do that so there's 16 15 4 uh we'll do 15 4 on the inside dimension and then we will draw a wall like this all right so that's that's the guest room and then we had a four foot hallway so there's our four foot hallway so i'm gonna need a wall here that comes all the way to this wall and then we'll keep bringing this forward so we're just filling in we're just filling in our floor lines right now. And uh, this room ended up being, it doesn't matter because it lines up with this wall here. Now was this, was this the inside dimension? That was 30 feet. No, that was 27 foot. Yeah, so this is the actual wall. I need to bring this across like this and up and then this like this and up. And then I need, uh, let's me, let me move my plan around real quick. Uh, moved it. There we go. Let's get back to the game. Uh, 12 foot 3 inches in, we're going to delete the floor. So this comes in 12 foot 3. So there's 12 foot. We'll do that way. And then it is basically, what, 5 foot, 2 foot 10. Okay, so we go uh, 5 foot 4. That's about right. And then that's going to be a wall, which should line up with that one. All right, that's awesome. All right, so and then in here... I got a two foot, actually it comes out four foot, let's do four foot eight, that's fine. And then it is uh, two foot six wide, so we'll do two foot eight. So there's two foot, and then here's the rest, and then these are two foot deep, like this. And then this wall actually sits like this. We're good there. All right, let's get rid of all this, that, all right, and then we need to draw some floor in here, wherever it might be. We're just going to draw in a floor. All right, and then uh, seven foot away from that one is another one. So six foot, seven foot, we'll do it again. Two foot up, two foot over, and then two foot back. There we go, that's perfect. And then three foot 10 from there, or actually let's go into inside the room. Uh, so this wall here should be about right there. So inside the room, it's a 15 foot four dimension, right? So. Uh, this room is actually 16 3 wide. So let's come across 16 8. We'll do a full 16. That's fine. So if I did uh, two more blocks, let's go ahead and just block this all in. 
I did two more blocks here, up, and then this out, we should be good, right? So that should be 16 inside. 15, four. Uh, screwed up. Yeah, we need it. We need this one. One more block out. Like this. Boop. And then get rid of this wall. Awesome. And then let's go ahead and do 15, four this way. So that'd be right there. So this is my outside wall. Right there. Awesome. So we can get rid of all this stuff here. None of this is here. And then we're going to. I thought I got that. But get rid of this or not. Please. <laughs> all right. So. Uh, if I come in one foot eight, which I don't think we can, so that's one foot four. So let's just do two foot. We'll come into here. This is going to be the entryway wall. This entryway is, uh, do I have a dimension from, I have a dimension from here to here. So if I come from this wall, uh, here, it's 21, 21, two. So it's right there. All right. So let's grab that and bring this forward. All right, and then let's put a floor underneath this somewhat. And then we can go ahead and bring this wall across there, all right? And then this actually comes back. So we need to get rid of this corner here and this piece here and this. And then this actually comes back seven foot six from the outside wall. So seven foot four, it's fine. We'll go to here and we'll bring this up like that. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Hopefully this is gonna work out. If this closes, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> And by closes, I mean if I can if I can get this to close on that corner by coming around this way and it works, it's gonna be cool. All right, so this wall here is let me scroll down on my plan. All right, there we go. This wall is 13 foot two inches on the inside. So let's go. That's 13 four. That's 12 foot eight. Let's actually use the 12 foot eight one. So I'm gonna go to there and I'll go there to here okay and then we're gonna go out uh six foot six so six foot eight's fine because this isn't really uh anything spectacular and then uh from this point i need six foot exactly which is there all right let's just do let's do that but i'm just gonna go like this and bring this back and then we'll delete that little piece there all right and then we should have uh eight foot eight and four foot six so that's 12 foot uh 13 foot two let's see what we have here 14 foot we're like right on the money guys like that's for me that's great <laughs> that's perfect all right so come back four foot to there all right so that's going to be this wall right here we're going to bring that all the way up and then uh, this little piece over here is four foot six. So we'll do four foot eight, that's fine. And it is two foot six deep, so two foot eight. And we'll bring that up, this up. All right, cool. That worked so much easier than what I thought it was going to. All right, so let's fill in some of this area on the inside for our floor to there. And then uh, we got some over here that we gotta fill in up to there, cool. And then this piece here isn't here, isn't here. And yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's actually really cool. All right, so what we're gonna do now is uh, let's get some of these interior rooms done now that we have this, all right? So this wall, where do we have this wall at? So the back of this wall here is gonna come all the way to basically here which should line up with, uh, let's see. It doesn't really line up with anything. Yeah, it doesn't. All right, that's fine. Let's go ahead and I just wanna make sure I got this right. So it's one foot six. Let's go back over here real quick. So I got one foot six on the inside. Whoops, I keep hitting that button. One foot six, let's do that. We'll put a wall here, all right? And then in here, I got eight foot two. So let's come across six foot, seven, eight. So that should be like right there up. That's actually a closet. Looks like we missed the under part. All right, and then this should go all the way. So that wall and this wall should have lined up, but it doesn't. So what we'll probably do is make this one longer. Uh, this should actually be five foot wide. It is, all right, so we're gonna actually make this one the one that's changed. We'll just come up like this, that's fine, that's fine. And then this should have been inside, should have been seven foot nine. So there's eight foot, there's seven foot four. Uh, that's fine, we'll go like this, right? and that should put us right there. And then if I calculated this right, yep, that works perfect. All right, so let's get rid of this one and this, but not the floor. We needed the floor. All right, so let's go like that. 
Bam. All right, cool. All right, so that's working out perfectly. This wall here actually comes across. Uh, deep is this room? Nine foot four. Yeah, so this wall here is wrong. So this wall here should be eight foot seven. Eight foot eight. So it should be basically here. We'll get rid of this wall here like that. And then this wall here actually comes across. Across. All right, so that's that. So that's the first floor. So our first floor is done. Sits right on the property perfectly. All right, here we go. So what we're gonna do now is the second floor. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and go like this. We're gonna make our second floor. We're gonna have a, a two tall joist system. All right, we're gonna come across like this and then we're going to go like this. And the only reason I'm doing this is it makes the elevation actually more accurate, all right? So this is gonna come across. Oh, I forgot we already had that one at that height. So this is gonna come across. Actually, this comes all the way across like that and this all the way back. And we'll do it again through here. All right, so that's the second floor on that side of the house. And then the second floor actually had nine foot walls. So we'll go up nine foot. We'll give it nine foot four walls. That's that. And then these things here can continue up all the way. These actually go way up above the roof. This is where we hid the downspouts because the house had a flat roof and they didn't want to see, see any of the um, your... Uh, gutters and stuff the downspouts from the gutters they didn't want to see it visually on on the plan or, or on the outside of the house so that's how we took care of that we just hid them inside some cavities which worked out great so that comes up to there this this wall there all these walls are gonna be the same height so this is also going to come all the way up this is also going to come all the way up as well as this that's actually the stair like that so it looks like just a bunch of big boxes on the outside now but it's it's going to get there trust me so upstairs we actually have uh let's go like this let me actually grab uh the second floor of this house because we changed something i'll make sure we i got the right one i got the right plan so let's go to uh i need sheet three there's she cool yeah so that's what i thought let's go back Let's go back to this, resume game, and um, we brought this all the way to here, um, and then we're just going to go like this, up. and then we didn't put anything there, so this comes all the way to the back of the garage, and that's where the other room set, like that, and then this back, this room here, uh, this room here is uh, 16, eight and a half to the outside, so we'll go 16, eight, that's fine. It was actually dictated by the uh there's a gigantic girder truss that set across here and the outside wall or the wall that was over the garage was dictated by the girder truss uh because we didn't know if it, how many plies it was going to be if that makes sense um if it doesn't make <laughs> uh so that's that room and then uh let's see we followed this back and yep, pretty much like this all right, then we fill this in. This is our floor line. Now, on this house, we're going to be using the windows uh, that are the the really cool uh, tall ones, or the ones that we can edit. This isn't going to have any of the normal windows in it. Comes across like this, like that. I think I missed a spot somewhere I did. Let's see. I, it looked like I did. Like that. You know what we should have did? I should have uh, did this all in the white block, so I don't have to go back and through go back through here and paint all this crap. I should have did that. But that's okay. Uh, so yeah. So these walls are gonna come all the way up like this. This actually comes all the way up here. It actually goes up higher than that, but we're just gonna go like this for right now. To there. To there. This comes across like this up across. This actually sticks out over the garage roof, so we're gonna have this come out like this. Uh, oops, I didn't line that didn't line that up properly there we go all right and then if we wanted to this would actually be the garage ceiling yeah so that's the garage ceiling whoops there we go all right and then this is the actual wall of the house second floor like that second floor didn't take us too long so that would be the ceiling for here so now this back roof i don't know if we're going to be able to do this in the game i'm going to try and see if i can make it work this back roof um actually slopes up that makes sense so it uh it's a it's it's flat but it actually has like a uh 212 pit and it keeps slowing up but i don't know if i'm gonna do that on here or not uh and then this i need this to come all the way across to here that's our balcony to here 
And then this has like a little bit of a balcony on it to here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it does. To here, like this. And then this comes on across, but the stair, uh, the actual stairs is like a block away from this. So if I took this mark here, um, let's see if I can do this. Uh, let's see, where are we at here? That's how many blocks of two pass? I went to here. Is that all right on the corner? It is. All right, cool. So this uh comes across kind of like this comes back across so it's basically that and this balcony is floating like this so there is a post but th it's floating right and then there is a there is a column right here so this actually comes out to here that yeah it's gonna have to it goes like that all right uh yep yeah, that's fine all right so that's good that's good I'm missing some ceiling here yep and then this wall needs to come all the way across all the way up perfect and then on the back side of this, there is a wall that comes out six feet. So let's do six foot eight, only two foot wide. Oh, come on, there. And then we'll come back with it. So that's there. And then around here on the corner, there is one that's right here and it comes out two feet. And it is uh, basically six foot long, so five foot four. And we'll bring this back across, right, cool. So what happened is when we did the roof on this, I had all the downspouts. There's two of them that flowed to this one. Uh, this front half of the house, the front half, front, man, the front half of the house, which is basically from this wall. So this wall has a gigantic girder uh, on the roof that comes like this, comes all the way across the house. Pretty much sets uh, about right, well, it kind of sits right here because it hangs off another girder. And all this water shed to this, and it shed to this, and then it shed off this back corner. All this front half, I had three that ran to this one, two that ran to this one, and this other half, the downspouts ran down inside those. So you didn't see any of them from the outside. It worked out really, really well. Uh, so let's go ahead and start on the garage roof. So this roof overhang is 30 inches. So we're gonna go like this, and then we're gonna come to here, and then we're gonna come out 30 inches again. So two foot eight, it's really two foot six, but I don't have two foot six like that. And then is that, uh, let's see here, is that my ceiling? Yes, that is my ceiling. All right, so, and then we're gonna go this way. I did this one four foot, it comes all the way down to there, to there. And then we're going to put one on the back side. I'll show you one here in a second. It's gonna come up like this, that, that only has one. Yep, and then there's a piece of like this. Cool. And then this goes all the way to here. Basically, this wraps um, kind of around the roof like this. We'll just go like this. It doesn't matter. It's the roof. I don't care. All right. So that's that was the garage roof, and this is all black. So I know you guys don't you guys don't like black, but this was all black. And we're just gonna leave it a stucco color, and it is. We could keep it a charcoal. Uh, yeah. Well, let's let's see what the charcoal looks like. All right. So we don't have to make it like stark black. Uh, I think we'll make it stark black. <laughs> It just looks better. Yeah, it does. All right, so let's do that. All right, that's all that. And this was just a detail that we did on the roof. And the reason it's actually like that is because this bottom section, this thicker section at the bottom, actually the roof system itself is like 18 inch. And then you put um, another system on top of that. And that's what provides the slope of the roof. So it worked out. We get it all. We, we did not get it all. I probably didn't grab it at all. But it, that, that did work. All right. And then all this inside stuff needs done. Not that it matters, but it will to me later. All right. And then we'll put a line across there, a line across there, because that's actually what it kind of looks like. It's where the rubber membrane of the roof sits. All right. Cool. So that's the roof. And then underneath, a black line here, black line all the way down to the edge, and a black line back. And then you're going to have a black line on the perimeter, and then one right there. All right. And then we're going to grab. Oops, material, wood. Uh, let's get, yeah, I like, I think I like this one. Uh, cut pattern, we'll just do it like this. Let's see what that looks like real quick. Oops, let's do it, maybe the cherry color. And let's uh, turn the cut pattern size up one. A little bright. Uh, let's try a painted color. And let's get like this. I'm happy with that. There we go. That's what the underside would look like. And it's got lights on it. All right, uh, let's go ahead and match this. Grab that, grab that. All right, so. Let's go ahead. Let me grab something real uh, It's been a while since I've done this house. It really has. All right. So over here, we're going to do the same thing. So basically the same roof system all the way to here. This thing here is going to be about that tall. So we're going to leave it like that much like that. 
and then we are going to pretty much have this roof here come to here and let's stop it there have this come all the way across and then this roof actually comes all the way across to about there and then it comes out like this all the way across bam and from that we have the same thing as what we had over on the other side so this is too high same thing that we had on the garage basically whoops and this is going to come back now this is only going to come back to here because this here so that'd be like right there comes up like this and it might even come up higher than that i don't know but we'll see how the other roof works out because this is going to be a little tricky here because it was very precise and it's in the dimensions that we used so this is going to come across to here fine i should have made that like too tall so i don't have to paint the inside this is what i'm talking about and then we got it coming back out like that that and then this comes all the way there all right cool so that's that roof so that's what that looked like from below all right and then this roof here came all the way up to the same height as this one i think that's probably going to be fine so this just comes out to here basically and then this comes across like this that should work yeah that's fine that's gonna work yep that's fine and then yep that's fine that's fine all right cool so that stuck up just like that exactly what that all right so then down here this actually has a front porch on it that comes all the way to right about there and then this continues all the way to the door so the door is this it's, it's kind of weird how this is was set up originally the door was here and then we moved the door to the inside right here so this was all glass and then we actually had like a little cool wall here I'm actually just going to go ahead and build that part, and I'll show you how it actually looked. So it's going to be hard to do it on here because the game doesn't understand what we're doing. But this came out like this, and then this had like a little courtyard in it. It's very small. When I say courtyard, I mean something very small. Uh, we need to get rid of all this grass, right? And then this. So if I were to go on the inside of this wall, this had a window that was up here. So let's go ahead and get into the windows that we can stretch, basically these ones. All right, and then we are going to put this, move this, uh, we're going to move this up. Uh, can I put it on? Yeah, to there, okay. And then we are going to go on the outside, and I'm going to adjust. If I can find what button I'm trying to press. <laughs> this, all right, so I want this to be very narrow, and it basically goes from wall to wall like this, all right? That's exactly what it looked like. And then there is a roof that sits right here, comes out to here. All right, and then it comes underneath this one. That's exactly what it does. Actually, it actually sits back one, so we need to get rid of this. All right, and then it goes all the way to here. And this was the covered porch area. So we're just gonna go like this. We're gonna make this one a little bit different because we didn't have to actually have that much on this one uh, for structure-wise. So it did have a little bit of a different profile. But what happened was uh, this water drained into that corner and caught that downspout that was coming through there. So that's how that looked exactly what it looks like and we'll just go ahead and paint all this the black all right, all right and we'll come across like this just imagine that's the flashing if you don't know what flashing is it's a metal that you use to make sure water doesn't get on or into the structure we'll go like this this and then we'll click this we'll make sure that this is all the same man i can't fly today learning to fly good thing it's not a glider all right there we go so that's that roof let's paint this one boop all right, this thing up here is uh is gray. So, and it's a gray tile. So we need to play with this because I don't know how, uh, actually I'm not done, but um, I just realized that that's a, I think we'll be able to do it. Oh, poop, I didn't mean to do that. I think we'll be able to do it too. I think we'll be fine. All right, we're good on all that. We're good on all that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this, paint all this. I might even change that color. We'll have to see how this turns out. All right, and these things here are actually that. It's just vertical. So let's turn it out perfect. All right, so this is going to be uh, basically this ebony color, but we're going to do a painted wood, and we're going to do it in these tiles. We're going to make it, uh, it's almost like a charcoal. It's actually like... It's almost like this color here. And then the cut pattern size, we need to make this gigantic. And then let's see what this looks like. So this, this might be, that's perfect. That's exactly what it looks like. Yep, that's exactly what it looks like. I might make it a, just a little bit lighter, but we'll see. Well, tag on, man, I can't click today. Yep, that's what it looks like. All right, so, and then up here, that window, basically this moved up and then 
pulled all the way to the floor system like that. It actually goes all the way up like that. That's how that window looks there. And that's exactly what it looks like. So I am going to probably paint the jams the black color. Oh, you know what I just realized? Uh, this isn't that. This back wall is this. So I need to pick this. Which way does that go? Okay, it goes that way. That's probably fine. It goes up like this. That's what that is. All right, cool. I still paint those black though. All right, cool. Yeah, that's cool. Let's go ahead and get the black and we'll paint the, yep, we got it all. Okay, cool. So that's how that looks like. Uh, this front wall out here is that same wood. So we'll go like this, click this. This is the same wood. I think I'm gonna change. We might leave it like that. I think that's too thin, really. I think the I think the green is too thin on that, uh, but we'll see. And then these columns over here um, are actually all wood as well. So these are all wood like that. And then we did all wood all the way back to the corner. And then this little piece here is all wood all the way back, right? And then this one back here is wood as well. Dang it. All right. So there's that. The only problem we're going to have uh, is the stone, because this is a lot of this is stone. A lot of it's not. Uh, we just got a subscriber. <laughs> got a subscriber. Why well, I, I am recording live. That's funny. Um, yeah, the only the only problem we're going to have is this has got stone on it, and we really don't have a really good uh, stone. So I might end up using this. Uh, there's really nothing I can really do about that, is there? Like it's pretty dark like there's no other stone that i would even want to use the only thing that i might want to use is that that painted brick um which was see was it the clay bricks excuse me yeah it was the clay bricks and then pretty much this color and i just want to see what this looks like this might be okay um yeah let's uh let's just play with let's just play with what we got for right now all right so over here we got uh, some more of these windows so let's go ahead and put one of these in here and these are going to be stretched to the corner the first one basically to there and then we're going to copy that one and put it there let's actually move this one down they are a little bit too tall so let's go ahead and move these up one and then let's make this wall taller uh you know now i know what i'm gonna do with this we're actually gonna do uh let's do this grab this i'm gonna put it right there we're gonna stretch this like this that and then let it have a little bit of an overhang on it that's good might have been too much of an overhang it was so there's there and then there's there all right cool and then this back part let's go ahead and have it just go through like that all right cool and then we're going to paint that basically a concrete color so let's grab that the sandstone's fine we don't need a pattern and we'll make it a little bit darker and then we're going to paint that that color because that's what that actually is. so it's a, it's a cap on the wall I like that so that worked out perfect and then this is the stone which i don't know what we're going to do with the stone but let's just for right now we're just going to use this stone for right now i really do that's all we got that's all we got um we'll deal with it so over here we basically have a window i'm going to stretch this to here and then let's uh I don't know if I want to take it to the corner or not. Let's duplicate that to the corner. Yeah, that's good. And then we're just going to paint all this whole wall black and black underneath part. So that's how that wall looks. And then this wall here looks the exact same thing. So I don't know if I can grab. Can. Good. This. And then we kept the same break in the middle. One of those is going to have to be off. Tell you what, let's do this. Yeah, that's okay. We'll leave it like that. We'll uh, we'll just paint it. If I don't like it later, we'll fix it. It's all black. Jam is black. We might actually use that painted brick. All right, and then on the side here, we had this, and then this was actually a door. So I don't know how we're gonna do the door on here. It was a pivot door. Uh, it like it was a literally like it pivoted in. So um, actually, you know what? I like that better. Let's put these on the ground because that's. That bar there is what was really there. And then I might actually just rotate this so it looks like a pivot door. If you guys, if you watch the video, you'll know what it is. If somebody downloads this and never saw the video, they're gonna be like, what the frick is this? Uh, let's click this and then can I pivot that in? Oh, it's not gonna keep the opening, is it? Um, all right, that makes sense. All right, so let's, um, let's grab this and move it in, right? And then we'll go ahead and delete this and then we'll move this back. And then we will move it, move it like this. Um, no, I didn't want to do that. Let's undo, undo, undo. Let's move this to here and then rotate it. No, it doesn't want to rotate that way. So it's it's pivoting from the middle. All right, so we just need to move. Let's move it to the middle then and then pivot. Uh, let's move it here, then pivot it. Huh. Is it locked? Let's see, grid snapping. 
There we go. That's what I needed. Ah, oh, poop. It's going to collide with that wall. All right. That's going to be our door, guys. <laughs> that's our front door. It's literally a big, gigantic glass pivot door is what the real thing is, right? So, uh, let's grab this window. Let's put it right here. Let's change the size of this. No, I didn't want to pivot it. All right, let's try that again. Let's get this, uh, let's get this stretched. We need to grab that little arrow. There we go. Oh, nope. Are we still, oh, we're still on our move. That's why we can't get this done. That's my bad. All right, so grab this and I need to bring this in, uh, probably like right there. And then we're going to copy this. Let's go into this, this, copy that, put it right beside it. And then we're going to resize this one. It's going to be like that big and then i need to move it up let's go to move grid snapping yes and then i want to move that up so why is there no up arrow like that all right so that's that window make sure that's correct that is correct although let's do this let's go in here put this resize this down one block resize that down one block all right so that should work there Yep, that's how that looks. And then up at the top, I need to take a window that matches this one. So, I mean, I'm just like clicking buttons like crazy today. Uh, let's click this one, duplicate that. And this goes up here on the top. Basically, there's one there. And then let's resize this like that. And then let's grab this and put it there. So that's two off. So if I push this one together, yep, that's what it looks like. <clears throat> cool. That one's that one. And then I got a giant one back here, but this roof back here we need to play with. So let's go, um, well, you know what we're going to do? I said we were going to play with this stone. Let's go ahead. We'll just copy this for right now and put this on here. But I think, um, I'm going to, I'm going to look at it, but I think what I'm going to do is make this all that white brick because I just don't know. I just don't like this. I really don't. Uh, you guys let me know if you like it. I can always change it, but that's not what we originally had the house as. So let's go in here and change this to... I don't think I can change... No, I can't change the color of that. Can I change the color of that? Nope. What about this? Nope. Oh, uh, nope. So we have to go down here to these colored bricks, which doesn't make much sense. I can change these to like gray. The only problem is I don't like the stacked pattern. It's not like a running bond, like this is called a running bond. Um, we can try this. Let's just see what this looks like. It might not be that bad. Uh, I, I don't mind that. The white's kind of nice. I think the last time we did a house, everybody was like, you should have done the, the walls and stuff and or the, the trim in white. And we didn't, but I kind of like this. This is kind of cool. We'll try this out. And then the other place that needed it was over here. Yeah, we'll go with that. You guys let me know. It might be too plain. You let me know what we need to do here. I don't mind it, to be honest with you. I wish we had some more stone options available in the game. I really do. But uh, we don't, so we have to deal with it. So that's going to be there. And then I need to grab this color. And we're going to do our little piece like that. I don't know why that there is a... I don't know if that's the shadow. It must be the shadows because I got the shadows turned down again so we don't crash. I might turn them up just to see if we do crash. <laughs> all right, so we got that area done. And then I can do all of this, basically. And then, uh, let's see, the back side here is also this. So we'll put that all in there. And that is that. And that is that. And then I think we took it to there. All right, so this roof here... <clears throat> if I remember correctly, uh, let's see, how did we do this? So we brought this roof across, uh, so basically like this, just to there, and we basically went like this with it, all right, and then we have the one on the inside, we'll take that down so I can paint all of it, oh, it's not gonna let me do it that way then, like that, and then we'll have this one here, so this needs to stick up like one more row, and then we'll paint this this like so and then we'll get that back piece here in a second all right so that's that and then the underside needs to be like this whoops didn't mean to do that and then we'll take this and actually we'll paint all of that that color and then we'll paint that little piece there my little piece there <clears throat> cool on this side i do know that there is a big picture window here so let's grab this i don't know if it's going to fit in there it doesn't look like it's going to uh rotate hmm Let's put it here. Let me resize it real quick. 
and then let's uh, let's just uh, duplicate it. Now it fits there. All right, cool. And then we need to resize this. So this comes down basically to there. That's about what it looks like. Cause there's a there's a tub that sits in front of this. Uh, let's go ahead and click. Oops, click that. Paint this part. I think we'll go ahead and bring the 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 wood in, and then we'll that brick. Um, I do know that you can bring these out. I remember someone saying you can move these in and out. We'll we'll deal with that later. Uh, let's grab this window. This comes all the way across like this. This is a skinny window. And this kind of goes like that. Alright, so we'll copy this. Paint that. Oops. Oops. That. That. And then we'll paint this up here. That color. Perfect. Uh, down here is a door. So we actually have a... Let's go down here. We actually have like a little porch here. Right, and then there's, there's a door here. So we could actually put just a regular door here. Let's go ahead and grab that. We'll put that. Nope, so I didn't want to do that. That. There we go. Grab, put that on the ceiling. All right, cool. I don't think I don't think we had any windows there, but we did have a door here. So let's go in here and grab our doors. <clears throat> it's just a regular door like this, but it was black, of course. Uh, black, black. Um, I don't actually want it shiny. I want it matte. Let's change all these to matte finish. And we'll change all these to black, right? So that door would set about right. Actually, you know what? Let's put it here. And then I think we'll put a, a window, a side light beside it to make it work out. Uh, let's grab this. We'll paint that, that, and then we'll fix that in here in a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and get, let's go in here and change this to kind of the raw stone color, I guess. Cut pattern, that's fine. Uh, we'll make all this our foundation. Yeah, that works. It's all going to come across like this. And then this all needs to be done here. Get that all the way across. Get all this. And actually, you know what? We should probably go like that because this house is a slab and it does have the foundation showing there. If we want to make it real, that. I need to paint the back side. I forgot we can change the grass, so we'll change the grass here in a little bit. We might do that in the next episode. All right, so we're getting there. <clears throat> so that's the front so far. We don't have a roof on it. Uh, This roof here is pretty much flat. So this roof here, you know what we can do? Let's just do this. Uh, Copy surface. So now my black, this should all be black when I do this. Yes, awesome, all right? So we'll go like this, and this just comes over just a little bit. And then there's actually like a little lip here that comes all the way back to here. This one, all roof. This is all roof, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and take this all the way down here. Awesome. And then this roof here sort of slants up. Uh, let's see, does it slant up or does it slant for? Actually, this roof over here we could go ahead and do too. So let's go ahead and put a rim on this one, that. And then this has got the same treatment as the other roofs. Right, and then that's just, we'll just put another lay on here just to color it in. So that's done, that rope, that little piece there. And everything else is a slanted roof. Now, I don't know how we're going to do this, but I do know that this wall here from basically here. So if I were to get rid of this and I were to draw this up there is a beam that goes across here like this it's a girder truss all the way to there <clears throat> this is all the same material in here and then this roof goes this way so we need to grab our roof i want to go from he oh crap i want to go from here and we need to make this a sloped roof just like that that's perfect uh and let's come to man can't tell uh, actually let's go in here and do it like this let's buy it first because that way I can change the um, the pitch on the roof so I'm just gonna make this a one pitch and we're gonna make it sloped right and then we're gonna go like this uh, it didn't do it did it <laughs> I swear to God <laughs> um, let's go basically to there okay I just want to check something and then let's go in here and change that to a one pitch out and then let's just use we'll use this even though it's a it's really a, a black it's not even metal it's a, just a black membrane roof and then we will paint that like so uh, oh we should have paint we should have changed that too let's go like this and paint this black Let's uh, stretch this this way all the way to here. All right, that looks to be about right. And that looks to be about right. And then let's go ahead and can I duplicate this one? I'm just curious. I don't know if we can duplicate. Yeah, we can. Cool. Let's duplicate this roof and basically put it right there. And then let's move this around. Move this. Fortunately, it's not going to let me look at it there. 
All right, so we can kind of play with it here. All right, so, and then let's stretch this all the way to here, and then out, and then over. Then we'll stretch this one back. There we go, that worked exactly what it looks like. <laughs> That's cool. It's working, all right, and then that and then we need to build this wall so we need to go in here and do this limited by roof yeah and then we're going to build this all the way across like this and then up same with this all right all right cool. that worked and then this actually needs to be a little bit longer so we need to stretch this one to there yep and then let's go ahead and put uh let's copy this material uh copy material there we go let's go like oh crap not paint uh copy uh crap crop copy surface <laughs> go up up there we go this is working all right cool that's done all right the whole underside of this thing um let's see that is the ceiling of the house and that's the ceiling but it's actually not i don't know if i can raise that up can i get a roof in here that sits like right there um let's see yes we can all right cool so it's all gonna be black all right so copy this copy that Paste that. I actually want that to go the opposite. Actually, that's fine. It can be that direction. That's good. I'm going to change the color of that, by the way. I don't know if I like that. I don't think, you know what we're not going to be able to do is I can't paint the, I can't paint the, the stripe on this one on the edge like it, it is in real life. That's fine, though. All right, so let's go back into this. And this actually has a lip on it right here like that. And then I believe that I had it come all the way up. Yeah. We did it like that, and then I, in, I indented that side over here. Basically, this piece is gone. Yep, just like that. Let's get rid of that piece. <clears throat> all right, cool. That's how that is, and that's good all the way around. And then this roof here, I believe, is this one just pulled over. So let's check. Uh, let's copy this one, and can I paste it right up against this one? Let's say no. All right, that's fine. Let's move this. All right, is that on the same plane? It is not. Grid snapping, no. There, it lines up with that. Let's stretch this. Oh, crap, I didn't mean to do that. Resize. It's all the way over. Pull this back to about right there. And then pull that to right there. I'm not going to worry about that because uh, it's going to overlap. So that's fine. I'm not worried about that. I just want to make sure it looks pretty close to the same. It looks like we may, might need to pull this one down, though. Uh, let's click this, move, and then... That's pretty smooth. I like that. And then we can build this side up and then all the way back. And same thing here, all the way across. Yep, that's what it looks like. It looks just like that. All right. So then we're going to copy these windows here. We're going to put these up here, just like the other one. Uh, we're going to copy this color here. We're going to paint our stripe across here. Get all that too. Paint that all the way down. Uh, see, I believe that is all wood, like this wood here remember that and then we had I think all the way to here I think the the brick comes up here in the back like that and then we'll go like this copy that nope like this like that yep over here's garage doors so let's go ahead and grab this we're gonna inlay this so we'll go inward and let's make it uh, this this finish right here and we will just actually no we don't need to but we will we're going to anyways. This is going to get rid of the grass. Yeah, actually, let's have it come like, there we go. And then we'll have it come back out like this. Nice. All right, cool. And then we need to put some garage doors in, but we need to go ahead and finish some of this other stuff. There is a window here, and I believe that we made this whole entire side this stuff. And then we'll go like this. And then let's just copy this window here. Put it here. But this is only, uh, this is a small window actually in real life. It's like this big. Like that. Actually, we're just going to do it in black. All right. That's that room. Well, like I said, this is the garage, but we haven't got there yet. Um, let's go ahead and do something real quick. Let's go into uh, this. Uh, let's change it to, what, this grass? And can I change the radius? to get rid of all this stupid tall grass. I can't make it any bigger than that. So I'll have to just spray paint this on here. And this will help with making this look a little bit cleaner. Of course, we could put striped grass on it again. <laughs> uh, that's a no. Um, it'd be cool if we could paint our grass. Do all this later too, but I want to get some of it done now because I got to take a screenshot of this soon. So that's all done. All that's done. All right, let's go ahead and do some of the back too. So that's the front. It looks pretty plain, but it's going to get dressed up. Don't worry. So the back <clears throat> has a bunch of bunch of windows in it. So let's go back grab our window and let's start basically here. So we'll start here. 
our brick, our painted brick, I should say, walls come around basically the house like this, like that. And then these windows are huge. So that goes to the ceiling, right? That's good. And then I need to duplicate this to there. Okay, that's what that looks like. And then above this one, is this, oops, duplicate. It is the same thing on the second floor. Oh, let's go ahead and move that over. Let's go ahead and get a, give it a gap since I need a gap. That works out fine. And then this, we're going to painting this all a black color, but we're going to put some trim on this to make it look nice later. So let's go ahead and just paint all this all the way to there black. We'll paint all this. It's all black trim. We're going to put some uh, cool detailing on it later to dress it up. So that's that side. Oh, we've got this wall. And then this side, it's pretty much the same thing. Let's go in here and duplicate this. We'll rotate over to the side. That same thing there on that corner. It's all going to be black, right? Now this wall here is going to be interesting because I don't know if we're going to be able to do this or not. But the way that we did this is we have a set of these doors. So let's go grab these doors here and we'll copy these. And we have a set of these doors that set like right in the middle. So I think this is going to be, it looks pretty even. And then we got this window sitting here and this window sitting here. Yeah, so we just need to move, move everything down one. Like that. And then these windows are actually uh, like 10 foot tall windows. So these go up to the same height as these. Right. And then we got one that, uh, let's go back in here and duplicate this. And we're going to resize this one down. Kind of like that. <clears throat> and then on top of that, we have the same thing. So we have this window here, this window here. And then we got basically two windows here. So I'm going to see if I can pull these... I don't know if this is going to be even though. It's not. So we'll just go like that for right now. I might just make these two just to kick. So these these two actually match with these doors, but these windows don't do that. So we'll just do it this way. And then uh, how do I get that to work then? Oh, we can't do it. I don't even have them in the right spot, guys. That's why. <laughs> All right, let's go like this. One over. One over. There we go. So that's what the back wall of that house looks like. Like for real. It's that it's that much glass. It's an engineering nightmare. Uh so that's all black. And if you're wondering why everything's black, it's not really just black. It's in a it's basically trim and metal. And um that's the color that we used for the trim on the whole house was it's basically a charcoal color. But it turned out pretty cool in the rendering. It's not built. All right. And then that's everything. Yep, that's everything. And then did we? Oh, we actually did hold the windows up. All right, my bad. Let's go like this. See, we held the window up there and held this window up here. Whoops. Yeah. And then we we painted. We had this as all brick. All right. So that's the back part. This actually has a gigantic cool deck that comes off the back of it. Uh, I'm gonna do it in concrete right now, but we're gonna we'll we'll play with it here later when we get this done. This actually comes across like that. And then this comes on through like that. Then over here, this has a deck off the top. And we're going to go like this. This is all, oops, was all that pretty much to the second level. And then all the way down. And I think that is the second level, right? Right there. Yeah. So this would have been a deck that came out uh, this. And we'll use the black, but we'll change it to a decking material later. It's had a deck that came out like this. All right. And then this up here was the wood color. This. And then we probably ended up having this come all the way up to here and then all the way down. And I don't remember if we ran the siding. Actually, you know what? We brought the we brought the stone up to like here and then the wood is up there just like that's being shown there. Yep, like that. That's how we did that. And then over on this side, we had a door and uh, let's see, we had this here and then we had a big picture window. Okay, let's not do that. What happened there? There, snapped a grid. I'm like, what's going on here? Uh, we had a big picture window here. And then we might as well, here, let's grab this since we don't have, we could put a transom there, but it's going to look stupid. Oops, let's bring that back down. Yep. And then let's, uh, like what you guys told me, we can move this window so it's in line with the door like that. All right. Then upstairs is basically sliding doors like these. So we just did another, this is the master up here. This is the master bedroom. So basically a door, 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 and door to the master. And this was glass railing, which we have railing, so we do fence. <laughs> this was all glass, like that. 
Perfect. And then we need to bring this up even further. Go ahead and make it, whoops. Oh, I got this on inward, outward. And then we need to take this and paint this. Actually, let's just paint this whole thing this. We'll put that little cap on it like we did with the, with the cap below. All right, cool. We're getting there, slowly but surely. All right, so over here, on this wall, we had a window that looked like this, right? And then this was kind of shrunk at the bottom. Nope, that's not what I wanted, that arrow. Nope, this is move tool. Uh, resize tool, please, there we go. Actually, let's do it this way. Um, Yeah, let's do it this way. Will that come on over to there, and that over to there. And then we will move this down. Crap, I'm trying it there. That's what I was trying to do. All right, so that's gonna sit there. And then I need to duplicate this one above it. And then we need to stretch that one all the way to the top. And then this one we need to stretch to the middle and then take this one and duplicate it beside it. So I'm, not, I'm gonna have to get rid of that. So that's one, how many blocks is that? That's three blocks and that's three blocks. So this one's just gonna be all centered, that's fine. I'm gonna resize this over. So that's what that one looked like. Uh, and we did have the brick on this one too. So we'll go ahead and copy this, paint all this, paint all that. And then the trim around this was all the black trim. Like this, same with this. This was actually paneled. We'll panel this later. I'll take care of that later, but that's what that looked like. And then over here, basically did the same thing. We have a window that sits right here. So let's grab, uh, let's grab this one. And, but it just sits here on the corner and we'll resize it. It sits like right there. It's fine, it's fine. And then up here, we got a big picture window. This is the, uh, if you're inside this room, this is an exercise. Um, let's actually do it this way. Let's go in here and resize this. So let's resize this down. Let's move this over to there. Let's duplicate that one to here, and then the next one would be about right there. And then let's resize this. Whoops. Resize that. So that's what that looks like on that wall. And we need to move these down. So let's move this down one. Down one. Crap. And this down one because that is right here. There. All right. So let's grab this color here. We're going to trim the bottom out in the stone, like such. And then the garage doors, of course, we don't have like the doors I need, but we'll grab some of these. These doors actually had glass in them, like this. Um, I'm almost tempted to make my own garage doors, which we could do. It might look cool if we did it that way. Let's try something. So if I went from here to there, and then it's a nine foot door. Let's make it eight foot eight. That's the garage. All right, so that's the garage. And if I wanted to make these look like the real doors, then I need to actually take, um, I need to duplicate these. And so there's two gaps right there. So we need to go like this. One gap. Oh, that's one gap and one gap. Oh, these don't. Um, oh, I'm moving these. Crap. I didn't want to move them. I want to stretch them. Resize. Thank you. One gap. All right. And then locate. Okay. So we're going to need to make these a little bit tinier. All right. So that's cool. So let's get rid of this. Now let's undo that one. Let's restructure this one. Down a block. Down a block. All right. And then we'll copy these. God, it's so hard to get them to stack there there and then if we can get one more i'll just make the door or whatever tall it is right so that's so if you're wondering these garage doors or these these doors are actually glass um and that's what they look like so let's go ahead and stretch this one because i could just i already saw that that one was not big enough right and then duplicate there 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 and there there we go that's actually what the garage doors they're they're not like opaque glass but i don't think we can change the glass on these we can't so they're like an opaque glass, if that makes sense. <clears throat> All right, cool. All right, I'm gonna save this. Now we're gonna try to do something, okay? The game might crash. If it crashes, we're fine. We'll come back. So we're gonna go into settings. <clears throat> we're gonna turn the graphics up. All right, so we're gonna go to high, right? So far they haven't crashed, All right? So everything's high. All right, let's click close. Resume game. Graphics are a little bit better, a lot more crisp as you can see. It does look better and it is working. So this this house doesn't have hardly any collisions in it. That's the thing. The only collision that we have right now is that roof right there. So we should be okay. We should be. So let's paint all this. All right. And then we'll paint. Let's just cut let's just make this solid. Alright, and then we'll solid that in. And then we'll solid that in. Right. And then we'll get the paint and just paint all this. We're going to put a little ledge on the top. It's not going to matter. All right, I'm going to grab this, duplicate this, put it up here. We're going to paint this. You know what? Almost like that silver color. I'm not going to lie. 
That actually looks pretty nice up there like that. So we might keep it silver. Let's pull this across like that. And then can I duplicate that once again? All right, is it? It's literally sitting inside each other in it. That's cool. We don't want it to do that, but we're gonna like that. Like that, all right. So what's that look like from down below? Cool, that's a little bit sticking out too much there. Well, duck, duck. That looks cool. This one's, this one's flush. So that's flush. That's one little notch out. Yeah, it shouldn't be. They shouldn't be that color. <laughs> All right, let's get. Uh, that's the color they should be. I might change this. Uh, this this stuff to white, uh, just for fun. We might do that. You guys, let me know which one you think looks better. Sorry about that. All right. So then we're gonna need this piece. Actually, this piece. Pull that over here. Uh, stretch this one. There we go. That's the cap on that. It works there. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's the only places we had caps. Yep. Yeah, I think I'm gonna change this wood. <laughs> I think I'm gonna change this wood. Um, I, I, it might be just the 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 size of it. It might be too thin. Like that's about what it really is. It's really not that thin. And this doesn't. I'm gonna change that too. Yeah, that's. I like that better. There was just something about it being a little bit too thin. And then let's change this and all of that and then we got these little things over here we gotta change all the way up all right we're about done and then i'm going to change the roof i think to uh just the solid color of this so if i do this and i just take the this off i, th I want to see what that looks like i kind of like that better I'm not gonna lie. I kind of like that better. Just the flat look. I don't like the lines, even though they uh, actually have lines on it, but I like this. And we might actually change this to a darker color because I'm still not satisfied with this, but we'll go with what we have for right now. <laughs> Until... Until I decide to change it completely. Yeah, there we go. So I like that. That's all a lot better. It's all a lot better. And then basically I want to do some of these. We're going to put them in the ground. Let's have it come out to basically here. If you guys remember, I tried to do this in one of the other houses, but we couldn't control the grass height. So it looked stupid. But on here it's going to look awesome because we can cut the grass. Then we'll have this outward like that this is going to be a feature so we'll deal with that later cool cool that's all the outside guys i think that's all we're going to do today i'm actually going to set let's save it just make sure we don't lose anything i'm going to go into press tab and you go to property settings and change the time of the day so let's make it like uh 4 a.m in the morning and actually let's see if we can make it like maybe 6 a.m it's right when the sun comes up that's uh, too bright five i like that and then we're gonna go and put a bunch of these uh lights in so let's go to store and go to lights these lights and we're gonna put these new ones in we're gonna make all these the same color as what we're using on our on our roof which i think is this right is it this or this i think it's red cedar isn't it yeah it's the red cedar i know you've seen me do this before but this like makes everything pop go down here hope I'm not making you sick by moving but I gotta see what I'm doing see that's the problem I'm not gonna be able to put them here so I don't know how we're gonna do this um I wish I could though I wish I could I'll have to figure that one out uh those are all there I'll put some around the back here all right and let's get some down here all right let's get a light switch in here somewhere we'll just hide it for right now this is gonna be our photo up I don't have any of the doors or anything in here. We're gonna do that next episode, or I might just live stream that. So we're gonna we're gonna cause a massive fire here in a second. All right, let's turn those on. Pretty cool. They're awful. They're awful bright, aren't they? <laughs> uh, it's okay, I guess. I mean, they're a little too bright, to be honest with you. Yeah, they're a little too bright. And I don't think I can. Uh, yeah, we can. We can copy that. So if I go to this and change the style, see, this is warm. Maybe we just change the warmth, and turn down the brightness, and then see copy style. Paste? No, that didn't work at all. So you can't copy the, um, or maybe you can. I can't tell if it's doing it or not. It doesn't appear that it is. Yeah, it's not. So I'm gonna have to go back through these and and, and change all these. All right, but that's okay. Uh, you guys get the point. So yeah, guys, that's what we're gonna do. To, this is all we're gonna do today. Hopefully you guys liked it. It's our modern house that we're gonna do. I'm gonna fix the lights and then take a cool screenshot to sell it. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, I will either share a, a link for the live stream to do the inside or I'll just record it. We still have the whole entire uh, challenge with Link to do. The Yellow House versus his America House. And um, we'll finish that up as well. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smack the like button. Hit the subscribe button. We just passed 3,300. Uh, which So we're accelerating. We really are. And uh, if you're interested, join Discord. It's free. 
We do a lot of cool things in there. Have some challenges. You can submit photos and all kinds of stuff. It's kind of fun. And um, but yeah, guys, I will catch you in the next episode.